Should I be worried about the way my husband talks about his female nemesis? I have this itch in my brain that I need to scratch. I am married to my husband for five years now. Recently, about a year ago, my husband's office hired a new employee, let's call her Jess. My husband would often complain about how stupid she is. Here are some list of complaints, she always tries to act smart even though she is a kid, she always laughs at silly little thing which he finds annoying, he sometimes criticized her carefree nature, he once told me she was dressed like a clown. She just wore red lipstick. It feels like every time he comes from the office it is always him complaining about her or what she did. And usually it is just some normal poop. He told me Jess teases him by calling him an old man. He really hates that. It feels like this girl Jess is always in his mind. The other day we went to shopping. I really liked a red shoe and asked my husband how I looked. He said it will look gorgeous on me. Then out of nowhere he said, thank god you do not have stinky feet like Jess. She always wears shoes that looks weird on her. And then proceed to say how much he hates her and that she is his nemesis. This was clearly out of nowhere. The thing that confirmed my suspicion is that he follows Jess on Instagram. We were sitting on our couch. I was watching a movie and he was scrolling through Instagram. He was on Jess's page literally binge watching her content. I mean if he hates her and hates everything she does then why is he stalking her? I did bring it up and he said that I am being ridiculous that I should know that he hates Jess. So thinking that there is something going on is making me look insecure. I do not know what to believe. My instincts tell me something else. But logically if he hates someone that much he wouldn't bring them up in every conversation. Where do I go next? Well I have answers now. They were having an emotional affair. I came to know of it when I checked my husband's phone. I pressed him hard on it and he admitted he has a thing for her. He had taken day off from work so that they can go hiking or just hang out. He swears he didn't sleep with her or kissed her. I am not sure about that. Their chats look more like banner. I asked him does he like her. He was hesitant but eventually admitted having a crush on her. I asked why? Why does he have a crush on her when she is not someone who he likes? His logic, she makes me feel alive. She makes me to crazy things and she has an energy that makes me feel special. I am hopeless. For months I have asked him to take a break and we will go to Italy like we always wanted. He made nothing but excuses. I wanted to tell him he is chasing a fantasy. He likes the version of her she presented herself as. But who am I to convince a love sick man who would cheat on his wife of 5 years just because she is not energetic. I left my house. I am staying with a friend. I haven't decided on divorce yet. I am scared to start over at 32. I want to become a mother but that means I would waste my good years searching for another man. I cannot believe he is falling for the obvious manic pixie dream girl thing. If he really wanted energy and do crazy things why couldn't he just say that? I would love to go hiking, I would love to skip work and just be outside with him all day. Yet he chooses a girl he claims he hates but not really. He has been calling and texting me nonstop. He wants to work this out. He even offered to quit and change his job but that's not going to solve anything will it? One week later I do not know how to start this update. For those of you who don't know, yes I am taking the divorce route. I do not think I can reconcile with him after what he confessed to. The day after I made my last post my husband asked to talk to me. He said he is ready to be truthful because he doesn't want this to ruin our marriage. He is willing to try therapy and counseling. He said he does have a crush on her and oftentimes did fantasize about Jess. But they are just fantasies. Nothing more. He confessed that though there hasn't been any physical touch or contact, he did have a moment of weakness and they masturbated in front of each other. He swears he didn't touch her. They just nutted off in front of each other in his car. It was Jess's idea. She knew about his crush but she has morals so they found a weird loophole. I wish I was joking because this sounds unreal to me. He is still insisting that was the only sexual thing they did. Nothing more. He has been begging me to come back home. He goes from begging to blaming me and when I said I want a divorce he was cursing me. I have served him. I have yet to hear from him or his lawyer. I know some people will say I am making a huge mistake and that I am throwing this out easily but I do not think I will be able to trust him again. If there is no trust in a relationship then what is there? I am surprised my parents were on my side. My mom told me I shouldn't have to beg someone to love me or respect me. Him lying to me was a huge disrespect. That a relationship cannot survive if there is no respect. Also, I think I offended a lot of people from my last post because they thought I was saying women over 30 are old. I do not think that. But I grew up in a culture where women over 30 are considered leftover. Though my parents and family members do not think that, there are people around me who do and it has been ingrained. I have tried hard to unlearn it, but there are some remnants. I do not know what the future holds for me. I am too depressed and angry to think that.p.s. Yes I am in therapy. I have been in and out of therapy since 25.